Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss the topic on finding the number of minimum number of NAND gates. So the question is, the questions that come are like this, that find the minimum number of NAND gates required for the logical expression. So you will be given a logical expression and then you will be told to find the minimum number of NAND gates required to formulate the logical expression. That is, you need to construct that logical expression in the form of a circuit. So what is the logical expression that we have for this question? We have the logical expression as y is equals to ab plus cd. So this is the logical expression over here. Now for converting it uh, for formulating or converting it into a form which can be then constructed as a NAND circuit as a circuit formed by NAND gates what we do is we just apply a double negation to our expression. So by, uh, by applying a double negation what we do is so, like this is the NAND expression, this is the expression that I have and I apply a double negation over here. So, what I do is, I just apply the double negation and now I will be solving the inner negation because for NAND what I need is only the outer negation because what is NAND? NAND is a, a, a not of an AND, right? So, I will be solving the inner one by using the de Morgan's law and the outer one I will be keeping it safe for my NAND expression. So the inner one is what? It is the OR of two things and a NOT is applied above. So by de Morgan's what I can do is I can just give this NOT to both of them and apply an AND in between them. So this is just de Morgan's. Uh, if I just write it down somewhere, I would say A plus B NOT is equals to A NOT dot b naught. So this is the de Morgan's law basically that I've used over here. So by this I get this expression. Now I clearly know that this can be entered into the NAND gate. How? See first of all I can form this by the help of a NAND gate. I can just give inputs a and b and it will yield this expression to me. Similarly the other one can be given the inputs as c and d. They, it will yield this expression and finally the outputs these two outputs can be given as the inputs to uh, obtain this final expression. So this is the circuit that we obtain by forming by uh, putting the inputs a b we get this a b bar by putting the input c d we get this c d bar and then giving these inputs the outputs obtained from here as inputs to this final NAND gate we get our final expression. So uh, quickly if we see that how many NAND gates did we finally require to formulate this, this expression we get to know that we got 3 NAND gates. So that is the final answer for this question. So this is what we do in such type of questions. We first construct the, we first uh, we can say uh, formulate the expression in the required form then we construct the circuit and then we find out the required number of NAND gates. This is how I personally solve this type of questions. You may have some other methods too but this is how I solve it. So the other question that I would like to discuss is about the NOR gates similar, in, in similar form now the question can be asked in order to find the minimum number of NOR gates. So the expression over here is y is equals to abc. Now in the similar manner I just apply a double negation and what I get is I get this. Now when I solve the inner thing now this is an AND and a NOT applied above. So again using the de Morgan I can convert it into NOT of ORs sorry uh, OR of NOT. Right, or of not, so this is AB bar plus C bar. You could also directly write it as this because again in one step if I solve it again it will yield this. So it is or of not. Now in this case if you have a 3 input NOR gate available you can directly form the circuit as this. Otherwise you'll have to do it in steps. So in case I have the three uh, directly available NOR gates, uh, I mean a directly available three input NOR gate, what I do is I just formulate these things. Now when I need A naught, how will I uh, obtain A naught? I'll just, what I'll do is I'll give the same input line to both, uh, to both the inputs of this uh, NOR gate and it will yield A bar. Right. Similarly, this will yield B bar, this will yield C bar. And when I input these three things into this th three uh, input NOR gate, uh, what I will get is this final expression. So, Y is equals to ABC. 
is the final expression now similarly when i don't have this three input nor gate i just have to use the two input nor gates what i do is i form a bar b bar c bar in the similar manner and then i form this expression first so uh, by forming this expression how will i uh, what will i do i'll just give these two lines as input lines to this nor gate it will yield this expression i'll need another nor gate to not this expression since it has a negation of what i require so the negation cancels out and then i'll finally use this nor gate in order to get my final expression so if i compute how many nor gates were required six were required in this case and over here three input three two input nor gates were required and one four input nor gate was required in this case so that's all for this particular video of finding the minimum number of nand gates and nor gates in the next video session in continuation to this i'll be uh, taking up a session on how to find the minimum number of nor gates and nand gates required while formulating an expression corresponding to some of our very famous uh, we can say combinational circuits like very famous combination circuits could be your multiplexer then your half adder full adder etc so generally you get such type of questions as well you get to know that they directly ask that how many nand gates nor gates will be required Uh, in order to constructing a in order to construct a half adder so i'll be taking up that problem in the next session but uh, the main approach over there is not to construct the half adder or full adder uh, at the time of your exam just um, try to memorize those things and for these types of expressions you can always draw it easily with the approach discussed so i hope this might have helped you in some manner to gain some clarity about the concept in case it did please like the video and keep subscribed for more good work coming up thank you